<laughs> hey, you guys know that you can't bring whiskey or rum on Uber rides anymore? Wait, really? Yeah, now you can only lift your spirits. Uh... <laughs> Welcome back to Worth the Dram. I'm Red. And I'm Grim. And this is Lori. She's our... Hi, Lori. <laughs> She's today's guest for no other reason than she just wanted to be here. <laughs> Your home of whiskey reviews, pirate opinions, and the answer to, why is the rum gone? Well, because they dumped it out for the Belvini Caribbean cask. Yes, they did. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm really excited to get into this one with you. I'm really excited. Because, I mean, you, have, you and I have done the uh, Belvini Double Oak. Yeah. Or the double wood. Double wood. Yeah. Um, not on camera. Not on camera. So we did intend to start with that one. However, one of our viewers pointed out that National Rum Day is coming up and it would be cool if we did a rum. Yes, August 16th. Yep. Today uh, should be August 3rd if everything goes to plan. August 13th if everything August goes 13th. to plan. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we do. But thanks, Shy CA guy. Yeah, so we figured this, this would be a good way to bridge the gap. Yeah. Um, reason being, uh, the Belvini Caribbean cask is aged for 14 years in ex-American bourbon barrels and then finished off for nine months in Caribbean rum barrels. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah. It's awesome. Lori, have you had scotch? I mean, like the Belvini anything before? I've not. No? No. Are you a scotch drinker? No, because the only scotch I've had is Dewar's. Okay. Um, and so that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've avoided scotch. Yeah. Hopefully this is a better experience. I I'm pretty sure it will be, considering I love anything Caribbean. So, All right. Yeah. Should be good then. Yeah. You know, every, anytime somebody mentions doers, I, I I imagine Patton Oswalt. <laughs> like I hate my job. I can't stand my hedgehog of a wife. But <laughs> you're my buddy, doers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so hey, Lori, why don't you tell us what is a rum? Ooh, rum is. <laughs> Thanks. Put me on the spot. But actually, I do know that because I've had. Um, plenty of uh, rum tours at the rum distilleries and everything in the nice. Caribbean because, you know, that's my, <laughs> that's one of my uh, excursions. Nice. Uh, so rum is basically distilled sugar cane. So I was down in Grenada, love Grenada, the island of Grenada, if you haven't been, totally recommend it. Um, basically, it just, they go through the process of crushing the sugar cane and extracting the juice and then putting it in their, uh, their stainless steel vats, letting it, you know, nice. ferment and then putting it into barrels and Perfect. Yeah. Ta-da. Yeah. So Love I it. had intended to, to uh, throw her under the bus there, but <laughs> she showed me. That was me. good. Yeah. That was I jumped awesome. On, I jumped on. And... High five. All right. So I would imagine because of that, like, you know, being uh, distilled, fermented and distilled sugar cane or molasses, a lot of that sweetness is going to be present in this scotch. Yeah. I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I like a, maybe my, my palate's a little bit sweeter than yours. Uh, Probably. I mean, maybe. so I will. I've, I've told you before. I do really like this scotch. Yeah. You haven't had. This I one haven't yet. had this one. I've had yeah. the double wood. But um, so you, yeah, you know me. I don't like a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of sweetness, but I do really like this one in particular. It's actually yeah. been a while since I've tried it. Well, you did like the Wellers. I did like and the, the Wellers section. and the section. Man, you so. do watch. Thank I you. do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's a fan. <laughs> it feels good. Yes. Yep. So. Uh, so, Belvini. Belvini. Um, it's another space side scotch. It is space side. Here. There you go. So, also owned by William Grant & Sons. Mm -hmm. One of the three distilleries that that uh, adds their mash for Monkey Shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Can I be? Can it be? Can it be? Do we ever figure out how to pronounce that You know, that we one? didn't. Because once, we make, we, the, once we make the videos, it's just... <laughs> we just don't go back. We publish it. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, interesting fact. It is the only distillery in Scotland that still grows its own barley. Uh, still uses a traditional malting floor with on-site master malt blenders. And that's where you get the monkey shoulder. That's where you get the monkey shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> um, still have on-site coppersmith and coopers. Yeah. So the five, what is it, the five traditional? Rare five, crafts. Rare crafts. That's yeah. what they call it. Yeah. Yep, five rare crafts. Um, May I ask a question? Yeah, of course. Uh, coppersmith and coopers. So Cooper is the guy who makes the barrels. He's a cooper, and a coppersmith is the guy who actually makes the stills uh, out of copper. So you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure Belvini is distilled in copper stills. I believe so. Oh, so, cool. yep. and it's the coppersmith. They have coppersmiths trained on site to keep those up and running the way they should. I'm gonna start pouring if you guys are ready. I'm super excited. All right. Let's so, 
So yeah, David C. Stewart uh, is the master um, malt master uh, at Balvenie, um, and he kind of I don't I don't want to say he invented um, finishing in casks, but he really popularized it with the Balvenie double wood. Um, and then as he kept experimenting, uh, he filled uh, American oak casks with West Indies rum blends. Uh, and then when he determined that those, yes, <laughs> I like it. When he determined that those American oak casks were ready, he uh, poured the rum out, I'm hoping through a giant party, um, and then filled it up with the, uh, the 14 year old aged um, Balvenie malt. Um, so those stuck in the uh, in those X uh, rum casks for about nine months, uh, and then those casks are married in oak tons for another three or four months after that to kind of get everything to gel together. Um, and then uh, once that's all ready, it's uh, barreled and everybody we get to try it on the show. <laughs> so I am I am super excited. I, I enjoy the double wood. Uh, which is American oak and then finished in sherry casks. Pretty much, you know, a lot of the same uh, process, um, but it's aged 12 years and then nine months in sherry casks. This is 14 years and then nine months in rum casks. Um, hope should be sweet. Should be some hints of vanilla in there, uh, maybe some fruit. Um, but no, I'm super excited. I am ready. Thank you. Gracias. De nada. I can already smell it. Yeah. Here. It's as soon as I opened it, sorry, yeah. it hit me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So. It smells very sweet. Sweet. That's mm -hmm. right off the bat. Yep. Sweetness. Um, very little smoke. Well, that's a space. There shouldn't shouldn't be yeah. a ton. Right? Well, I mean, we got, right? we got a little smoke out of the Johnny Walker, which is a space side. Is it? Now I don't remember. <laughs> Echo, what region is Johnny Walker from? Look it up for yourself. Fucking worthless. <laughs> okay, work. no, you're right. Johnny Walker Black is from. Bayside. Okay, I just my That's mind. Anyway, but we got we got anyway. A, we did get some smoke in that one. We did get a fair amount of smoke uh, out of the Johnny Walker. So just ignore my faulty memory. This is good. So I've had, I mean, it smells good. I've had the Caribbean cast before. Yeah. And this is one that I like to keep stock. Like this is, this is my, not what's, it's somewhere between like an everyday and a special occasion scotch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's one that I like to keep for that. Um, I've never had it out of these glasses before and it's. Like a novelty though. It's a, it's kind of a novelty and you're like, oh, I want something different, just different from every day, but it's yeah. not quite a special occasion. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you get that rare drop in Warcraft and. <laughs> You're doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, just it's rich. Like that's a good word. Rich is a good word. Yep. Yeah. Wait, what did oh, yeah, that's right, last yeah. time? Our last guest. Oh yeah, you see the tears. The buddy method. This is the yep. tears. See the alcohol content. It's 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 lighter. Uh, maybe you write at apple juice. Type color? I think it's a little darker than a little apple dark, juice. A little darker than apple juice? I think so. Yeah, my wife says applesauce. We have a deleted scene <laughs> <laughs> of our wives behind the bar making fun of us. Yeah. Tastes like... Yep. <laughs> um, so I, I don't feel like the, like the scent is, or the fragrance is really that complex. Mm -hmm. No, it's sweet flavors. Yeah. I can't really pick out a whole... Like, I can't pick out a whole lot of individual notes besides yeah. just sweet and just... Generic fruits and... Yeah. Um, so that was really my segue into we should probably just taste it because well, there's I really not much more we can drag on. We can't really drag this out any longer. I, I agree. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that has a good scotch. Mm. Yep. A little sharper on the tongue then. So better than doers. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna say darker than doers too. So yeah. <laughs> this is good. I think well rounded. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot. It's, it's balanced. balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it is still scotch, so um, even though it has more of a, it doesn't have the same bite or tartness of like doers. 
Um, it is very smooth, and but it doesn't have the sweetness like I was expecting. So I was expecting more of the maybe uh, vanilla or caramel or something like like that. But yeah, no, it definitely is scotch. Um, I probably would prefer it over the rocks, but neat is good too. We can get just we can do that. Yeah, the second glass. I don't know. I don't know if my ice balls will fit in these glasses. But we <laughs> no, can. I don't. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe, our, maybe after the, because this is definitely, we this is sit, very... You could sit it on top and you could like hold the whole thing. And... Are you saying, <laughs> are you saying that my balls are too big? I, <laughs> I think, I'm, um, personally, I think I've had a sweeter bottle before. Yeah. I, th I think so. Or maybe, sometimes you leave a bottle open for a little while. And then as the air gets into it a little bit, the flavor kind of changes. That's true. Slightly. We also, we, could be we also did kick off National Rum Day. We did. With a shot of Kaloa coffee rum. Yes. Yeah. And that was very sweet. Yes. Super sweet. <laughs> very yummy, by the way. If you can get a, your um, hands on it, I recommend it. Anyway, back to uh, the Balvini. Um, yeah. Uh, not quite as sweet as I was expecting, but definitely sweeter than the double wood. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe the sweetest scotch that we've had. I'm I think so. Think. The monkey shoulder was monkey pretty shoulder sweet. If you were, because but... I was getting some like milk chocolate notes out of the yeah. monkey shoulder, um, which wasn't like overly sweet, but it was more yeah. like that, you know, like that waxy crunchy from like a milk chocolate. Yeah, yeah, that was that was real, really what I was um, getting out of that. But I think the monkey shoulder was a lot sweeter. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm, I'm having trouble remembering the monkey shoulder off the top of my monkey head. Monkey shoulder is your go-to. I know, and I can't remember. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Um, but no, it is it is sweeter, I'll say, than, yeah. uh, than a typical scotch. Well, I mean, consider we just did the Lagavulin and yeah. then the Kalila before that. It's hell of a lot sweeter than those. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then um, definitely it's, uh, I don't know how to describe it other than soft. Like, Gentle. Like, the, like the finish is just kind of like... It just sits there, and it's just like, you know, there. Speaking of the finish, it's real short. I was going to say, it's very pleasant. Like yeah. It just sits there, and it's just yeah. calm. Because sometimes like, it just kind of like fades. Yeah. You know, that might actually be, if I had to guess, that's probably the influence from the rum barrels, where it just kind of smooths everything out. Yeah. I mean, rums, aside from Bacardi 151, most rums don't have, like, a real bite to them. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, the bite is definitely coming from the scotch. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, and that's real. That's up front, but it fades real fast. Yeah. This is 47%. I think I'm looking at the side of it. Bottom right. 43%. 43%. That's, you know, that's one thing that we never get into is the proof. I know. We um, never mention the proof. I, I think standard is 43%. I'd say about, about 40 to 45%. Yeah. Yeah. So we haven't hit anything cask strength or above yet, so we haven't bothered to mention the proof. I'm looking forward to some casting. I am too, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I think that, I mean, I already finished my glass, so mm -hmm. I did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, you know, it was, like we said, we, we hit kind of all the high nails. It's a little bit sweeter, rich. Mm -hmm. Definitely get the scotchiness. Um, I think as it lingers a little bit, maybe that's where that oak comes in. So as it's lingering there. I just got the tiniest little hint of smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Which, I mean, we've had uh, stronger smoke flavors yeah. over the past couple of weeks. Yeah. But maybe I just that's got... what's sticking in my head is like Lagavulin or Kolila or something like that. You maybe. Know? I'm like, <laughs> smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I've just sat here, it's more that oaky. Like, yeah. I'm just getting that oak mm. sitting there. It's yeah, as it, yeah, as it sat a little bit, kind of like, just like sweet oak, and then just like soft fade. Well, that cut was weird. You had one job. One job. <laughs> You're fine. You're good. <laughs> she got it right the first time. We made her repeat it wrong. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> I've seen the show too many times, I think. Yep, kind of a fan. I got my yeah, towel I see that. In, in that and put that over there. It's all good. So, our uh, usual time travel trick. 20... Yeah, it's been a little... It's a, 22 it's been a minutes bit. and 30 seconds. <laughs> I didn't know you were timing it. How specific? Uh, I got internal time like a mongoose. <laughs> Ricky Ticky Tabby. <laughs> oh my god, I remember Ricky Ticky Tabby. Yes, I love that movie. I, so, it, I, maybe five years ago, it took me months to remember that, and no one knew what the hell I was talking about. And I'm like, don't you remember? It was like a mongoose... 
protecting a kid from a cobra yeah. in like India, and everyone's like, no, none of that rings a bell. It was before 2009, so of course I remember it. That's right. I don't know if I mentioned. Don't you can't make any references post like. 2008, 2009, because yeah. she won't get them. All right, yeah. that's it. Although I am catching up now, but I yeah, don't think she I is years, up. decade later. I, I mean, my oldest was born in 2011. 2011. I don't get any references post there, unless, unless it's of like, adult movies. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Well, not those kind. I of mean, if you <laughs> if you reference like, I don't know, <laughs> PJ Masks, I'll get what you're talking about. But so we're drinking rum finished whiskey. Yeah. Bell of any Caribbean cast. Thank you for staying tuned. <laughs> um, so sitting for 20-ish minutes, I, I think it's sweeter. It kind of just smells like a juice. Like, yeah. so the, like, oh. it, the scotch scent, like, you know, alcohol and smoke and, and scotch is like real, real mellow now. And it's all, it's just fruit. It's just all that, that yeah, that sweetness, that, uh, but all that, those subtler rum flavors, I think, are, are what's coming to the forefront. That's what I was yep. going to say. It definitely smells like rum now, as yeah. opposed to scotch. There you go. Not rum mixed with coffee, though. No. No. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, I good. feel like that really screwed up our palates, though. Eh, I had like a gallon of water before, or after <laughs> that. Um, I'm ready to taste it. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I almost I was like, ah. It's still good. Is it just me or is it a little sharper on the tongue? It is a little sharper, but it the flavor is better, I think. Well, yeah. So it has that sharpness <laughs> initially, and then you're like, oh, nice flavor. Like yeah. you can it actually so the the sting lasts a little bit longer on the initial pour. Mm-hmm. But when it sits, it's just a little bit of the bite, and then you're like, oh, nice flavor. You know what? It's it's the same bite that you would get from like a spiced rum, but without the spices. Yeah. 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 Um, I definitely think I don't know if I, I get a difference in, in taste so much other than what you guys were saying. It's a little a little bit sharper, a little bit maybe it all kind of hits you at once. Yeah. Um, still sweet, still kind of that rich richness in there. Still got the scotchiness in there. Um, you definitely taste the rum influence, but the finish is a little shorter. It kind of all hits you at once rather than maybe spread out a little bit more when it's right from the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, like it's, it's smoother now, almost. Yeah. Like it, you can actually taste the flavors more intensely, I think, and that nice, cal- that calmness from before, it's like, it adds character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's got it. That's a good way to Because like all the sure. intri- intricacies that I was looking for before yeah. that weren't there are there now. Yeah. Um, I might actually prefer it straight from the bottle. Yeah? Yeah. I actually, I kind of like it rested. And me too. Yeah, I think I'm all right. Go with uh, grim today. Uh, that's, that's... Usually I'm I'm on red side because well, like sweet yes. and it's like caramel and like oh yeah this is good. <laughs> and he's like uh, I'm not sure if I like it, but yeah today I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to go with uh, yeah. grim today. No, yeah, I think I like it. it... Yeah, I I got nothing that's other fair. than I like it right from the bottom. Yeah, fair. yeah, cool. yeah. Good. But I mean, you know, as far as like like individual flavors, I feel like nothing really stands out. I think it's still pretty well balanced. Yeah, definitely well balanced. I mean, you got, you can taste the sweetness, you can taste that rum influence, you can taste a little bit of that oak. Yeah. Um, I think the reason I like it right from the bottle is those that all last just a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's yeah. a little bit, it's a, it stands out a little bit more after sitting, but the flavors last a little bit longer after, right fresh from the bottle. That's what I. Yeah, I could see that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, well put. For me. This is definitely one of those <laughs> where like you. You sit, right? You sit and you enjoy it, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, I usually Sitting on the dock in the bay. That's a great song. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> a song. song. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I usually find this for about eighty dollars. I've seen it pricier on the East Coast, but here in Arizona, it's about eighty bucks. Yeah. You can get it at Costco for sixty to sixty-five. When they have it in stock. When they have it, and I'd say it's worth that price. Now that yeah. I mean, obviously, like you know, our palates are expanding. And evolving as we do this, um, I would have like eighty dollars was a good price for this before. Now, I think sixty sixty five is fair. Yeah, um, no, I still like it. It's still it's probably I'm still gonna keep it stocked. Yeah, but now if I don't have if I, like if I don't have any and I see it for eighty, I'll wait. Yeah, 
So God. between this and the double wood, I would probably prefer to drink this. And the double wood is same. Seven sixty-five to seventy normally when mm -hmm. you can find it. Um, I say when you can find it, like you can't find a boat, you can find it pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, like sixty-five to seventy bucks, I think, is what it is normally. Um, so what you're saying is I should probably send my dad the double wood because he's not going to know the difference anyways. Oh, he'll know the difference. The double wood is very, very smoky. <laughs> oh, but I mean from doers. Oh, nope. <laughs> yeah, no, from doers, yeah, you can do either one. Okay. Yep. Right. That would be fine. So, okay, good. What were we saying? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> so, I, like, final I, thoughts? I can't let a rum-themed episode go by without telling at least one pirate joke. Please. So, uh, why is pirating addicting? Why? Because after the first time, you're hooked. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I love that. Pirate walks into the bar, and he's got a ship wheel attached to his belt. And the bartender goes, hey, what's that ship wheel, ship wheel for? And he goes, yar, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be great. Because <laughs> my friends in Tampa are actually like huge Gasparilla fans. And so oh, Gasparilla nice. is the celebration of pirates and the pirates coming to Tampa Bay and, you know, taking over and all that fun stuff. So uh, nice. lots of huge pirate, pirate fans. There. It sounds, it's like, it's like the equivalent of our zombie walk. Yeah. 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 They yeah. all get dressed up and everything. And yeah, I'm into this. That, that yeah. sounds yeah. Yeah. really cool, Oh, yeah, cool, the pirate, like the corsets and the hats and the, well, for the females, obviously. I'll uh, wear Actually, corset. some men, some men, but, you know, not judging. And it's actually kind of, I don't know, I, I think it's hilarious. I want you to, you, you, you are aware that you just said that <laughs> on, like, a, on YouTube. <laughs> like a public I am secure in myself. Like, people are going to demand <laughs> that you wear a corset. Oh Listen, my goodness, that would be great. If you buy me enough whiskey. I'll wear a corset if you wear a corset. All right, if you guys buy me enough whiskey, I will wear a corset. Yes. And I mean you guys, not, not you guys. Well, I guess comment down below what I should be wearing, because it seems to be... Leaning towards corset. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe try and make it a little more steampunk for you, so it's not quite corset yeah. pirate, sexy pirate. Every steampunk it's... outfit has a corset, like, <laughs> like even the dudes right, with their right, jackets. Right. <laughs> exactly, that's corset, my point. Corset, jacket, top hat, It's goggles. a little more masculine, yes, yep, yep. Yeah. Whereas pirate corset is definitely very voluptuous. Yeah. All right. I think I can pull off voluptuous. You heard it here. <laughs> After dark. <laughs> All right, so final thoughts. Like, and we've we've kind of sputtered through impressions, but we, we tangented it a little bit. We yeah, we really but, did. Uh, no, it's definitely good. So I I do think if you are shy CA guy, if you are a rum fan, I do think this would be a good jump from rum to scotch. I think so. Um, you know, I mean, it's not going to be as sweet as a rum that you're used to. Right. Wow. That was close. Hey, he knocked one over once. I did. <laughs> that was the intro. Yep. Uh, Johnny Walker. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's anyway, so it's not as sweet as, as a rum drinker would be used to, but it def you can definitely taste those rum influences. Yeah. Yeah, I think so for sure. You get a little bit of that sweetness, a little bit of, the, little bit of vanilla, I think. A little bit of that. After it rests. Yeah, after it rests yep. a little bit, a little bit of that. I got a little bit of creaminess um, influence. So yeah, I think if you're a rum drinker and you want to jump into the whiskey world, eighty dollars for a bottle is a little, I think maybe a steep for a first try for whiskey. But yeah, I'd say wait, wait till you find it on sale. Yeah, for sure. But if you have, if you are used to like a one five one, um, this definitely is comparative to the Bacardi 151. So, um, cause it's that dark rum um, and it does have a little, you know, feels that higher proof as well. So it has a little bit of a bite like the 151, so. I feel like the Bacardi is a little strong. I spit fireballs with Bacardi. I feel like I could spit fire, but I'm also All not right. a scotch drinker. I'm more of a rum, vodka, you know, the, the simple stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, that's valid. Yep. There you go. So if you're a fan of space side scotches, um, definitely, I mean, Balvini is a classic space side scotch. Absolutely. Um, but if you haven't tried the Caribbean cask, um, in particular, definitely, I think it, if you're a fan of space side, definitely pick it up. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's dram good. Yeah. Is it, would you say it's, uh, worth a dram? I would say it's worth a dram. <laughs> <laughs> so I do actually, have to, I've got one buddy out there on the East coast that actually introduced me to Balvini and I do have to thank him for that. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, you're the reason that I keep two bottles of this stocked in my house. <laughs> <laughs> you guy. 
would you recommend it? Because like we've recommended like Monkey Shoulder and John and Johnny Walker for like an introductory scotch. Would you also say that it'd be good for as as an introductory scotch or? No, for the, like, this is definitely that special occasion, kind of, if you're not a scotch drinker, but you want to, you know, celebrate something or, or give it as a gift, I would say that this is definitely a good, a good choice. Yeah. If it's your everyday scotch, um, I'm not an everyday scotch drinker, but uh, I would say that this is definitely a special occasion. You're buying it either for a white, white elephant, like, you know, my fellow military people, we do that, um, or if it's for a special occasion, like a baby or a wedding or something like that, I would definitely recommend this one. It is, it is good, especially if they're not scotch drinkers. Yeah, so, yeah so. I guess to bring this all around, Lori, thank you for being here. For yeah, inviting awesome. yourself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing this up and going, ooh, I got to try this. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, we didn't do the van. <laughs> we can cut it in. We can cut it in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Our final thoughts? Yeah, that's how we feel. <laughs> <laughs> I've been leaving it up for a little longer. Actually, yeah. it was my wife's suggestion. Leave it up for... It works. Makes it easier to read. I like it, for sure. <laughs> Just makes it all that better. Uh, so, uh, we, we haven't said it yet. Lori, thank you for being here. Definitely. Thank, thank you for thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you inviting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Got to do this. Uh, no, it's you killed it. It's been a blast having you here. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So, thanks yep. for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And do all the things. Do all the things, my wife says. And do all the things. And I mean, hey, if there's one takeaway with us, however you like your whiskey is the right way. Yeah.